Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. It's a girl Fanny Lungu back with another reaction video. If you're new to this channel, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and of course, do not forget to subscribe. Like I said, my name is Fanny Lungu, and on this channel, we post reaction videos each and every day so if there's something that you guys want us to react to let us know by dropping the link in the comment section below and we'll be more than glad to do it um check out our second youtube channel called funny and just say 2.0 we have some weekly content that we drop and i feel like you guys are going to enjoy it we've got a podcast called diving in with funny and jesse and we have some amazing conversations which you guys don't want to miss you can find us on itunes spotify pod being this channel or our second youtube channel for the visual and we have a patreon account you guys feel free to become members and we'll appreciate a big shout out to the people that have subscribed to our channel are still subscribing to our channel you guys are the best thank you for liking commenting sharing and just keeping this channel alive you guys are the best check out my um blog called morning coffee with funny and i have some amazing posts that i've put out there so far i feel like you guys will enjoy them morning coffee with funny and yeah just enjoy a big shout out to the person that suggested this today we're going to be reacting to the islamic dress code must watch so without wasting time let's get into the video TDR Conference 2016 Prophecies The dress code degenerating as time passes. You have seen the dress code today. It's getting worse as time passes. It's not getting any better. Subhanallah, I can quickly explain to you. There was a time when man wore very little. So here comes the civilized world and they said, cover up. You know, in Africa, where I come from, the traditional clothing, perhaps the skin of a buck or an animal, maybe from a cow or from a goat, perhaps, and they would wear to cover the front and the back of their private parts. That's it. And perhaps they might, they might have moved around with a few spears in order to protect themselves that was considered the traditional dress. That's how they used to dress. So here comes the so-called civilized world and gave them clothing and told them, listen, cover yourself. Because if you cover yourself, you are civilized. So then they started wearing, mashallah, tabarakallah, something, you know, to cover their legs, something to cover the top. The women used to wear the long dresses. They used to have hats, the Victorian era. Those hats used to have nets and the net used to come down the face. Mashallah, not only neat, but romantic too, Mashallah. And so what happened? They covered themselves correctly. Islam came about and did exactly the same thing. The people used to engage in circumambulation of the Kaaba, known as Tawaf, while they were naked at times. They used to inherit the women, treat them as property. Islam abolished all of that. And Islam says, cover yourself. It's better for you. Ya ayyuha nabi yukul li azwajika wa banatika wa nisa'il mu'minina yudnina alayhin yudnina alayhin min jalabibihin thalika adna an yu'arafna fala yu'zayin O Messenger, Tell your wives, tell your daughters, and tell the believing women to dress with their outer garment. You know, when you're leaving the home, you just put on an outer garment. Dress with the outer garment. Because it is better for them to be recognized as chaste women. It is better for them to be recognized as believing women. It is better for them to be recognized with goodness rather than to be dressing so provocatively that you are looked at as a sex object, as someone who may be cheap, someone who is trying to perhaps stir up the feelings or emotions, etc. of the opposite sex, it would be better if you dressed modestly, if you dressed in a way that would make you a person known as someone who respects themselves to begin with. And that's what the civilized world taught at one stage. 
Later on, when man wanted to control a woman again and wanted her to forget about what civilization had brought, you know what happened? And the hadith has predicted this. The dressing will degenerate once again. There will be a swap of dress code. Men will dress with the clothing of women and women will dress with the clothing of men. Subhanallah. Such that you won't know the difference. Is this a man or a woman? Good morning, sir. I'm a madam. Oh, oh sorry. I'm sorry. Morning, ma'am. Who told you I'm a madam? Well, it's your clothing. But no, subhanallah. Nowadays, you just say good morning. It's over. You don't need to say sir or madam. If you're a Muslim, you're fortunate. You can say, Salaamu Alaikum, my brother. At least they have beards, alhamdulillah. So, <laughs> the prediction of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa that, or the prophecy that the clothing would degenerate. If we take a look today, they will tell you that part of civilization is actually to undress. The less you wear, the more liberated you are. What happened to our forefathers only 50 years ago? who actually fought nudity in order to bring in civilization. What happened to that? Take a look at the colonialists who went across the globe. What did they do? I'm talking of dress code. They taught that look, cover yourselves. They came to Africa. They taught us in Africa to cover ourselves. Now they're changing their minds. Why? Why once again? Wallahi, my brothers and sisters, Islam teaches you purity. Islam says you will not be judged because you have nice legs. You will not be judged because your hair blows in the wind. You will not be judged because your face is flawless. You will not be judged because of you're the shape of your body. You will be judged because of who you are, how your character and conduct is, and how your relationship with your maker is. You will be judged by your contribution to humankind and your dedication to the maker of humankind. Subhanallah, that's Islam. So Allah says, just cover. When people look at you, they mustn't say, Salamu alaikum, how are you? Wow, just because you look nice, you know, alhamdulillah. You look so good, everyone's greeting you. No, they should greet you with respect based on the fact that you are a decent human being and a servant of Allah, a creature of Allah. That is Islam. That is the purity of Islam. When Allah says, cover yourself, it is in order for you to earn respect Wallahi, those who don't cover themselves, they can say what they want. They are making themselves cheap, very, very cheap. And they are insulting the other sisters or the others of the same gender who may not have exactly what they have. They are adding so much pressure on society and community. People are dying as a result of wanting to be size zero. Do you know what happens? They used to say, oh, this person's a size 10. Well, mashallah, not bad. Size 8, okay, fine. Sorry, I should have started at 14. Uh, <laughs> then also it's alhamdulillah. Okay, they get down until they get to size 1. <laughs> you almost, you have almost disappeared. What happened to you? You don't eat. And after that, no, size 0. Hello, sister, where are you? You were here a minute ago. What happened? <laughs> totally invisible. Allahu Akbar. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive us. Donate now. Go to the dailyreminder.org slash donate. I just love Mufti Meng. I'm, I'm glad that he started with where he's from. I'm sure he's from Zimbabwe. Yeah? I'm, sure, I'm, I'm sure he's seen this in Zimbabwe, but I've seen it in um, Namibia. Or you can actually see it in Botswana as well. Southern Africa, these things are common. We have tribes that still today just wear those things the animal skin covering the front part and the back part and the chest is left open back then it was our culture that was very very respected back then it was a culture that we had to go with that we had to res respect our tradition and culture but then i'm thinking because now it's people that came in because they thought they were so woke and came in and said you know what this is wrong you're not supposed to dress like this back then it was normal until someone said it wasn't okay it wasn't civilized and they made it seem such a bad thing like a bad thing many people today exist and they're still doing that and there's i don't know what i mean that still doing that and then i don't find anything wrong with that if it's your culture it's your, it's your tradition respect that as long as it's not leading you to do 
other things it's not like it, it, as long as you're not going there to parade yourself in front of men and men being um having these weird thoughts because it's quite normal for people for people in certain cultures to be naked still to today and then um the minute people started sexualizing this being naked is a minute everything was thrown out is a minute tradition was thrown out and it's really sad it's really sad to know that that's how it's it is now you get i mean there's some women that when they say man's chest or shirtless they're like oh my god look at that and vice versa for the women as well which i mean really baffles me if we have to cover up yeah let's cover up for the sake of respect because now when we wear short things someone because now we're wearing short things for the wrong reasons right now it's very very hot like i'm sweating right now but since i'm in a vest i said i couldn't wear anything with long arms i said let me wear a vest and since i'm in a vest i said for for the respect of islam for the respect of this religion let me cover myself up that's why i've draped a scarf around my shoulders and life goes on otherwise this was very very interesting what do you guys have to say about the dress code make sure to give this video a thumbs up share it to the friends and of course do not forget subscribe and i'll see you in my next reaction video